Hi, I'd like to talk to you about muscle memory. I just read an article about muscle memory when you work out and how if you work out for several months and then you have several months off, when you go back to working out, your body remembers what it's done before and it gets stronger faster because of the muscle memory. So in singing, um, I've noticed a lot lately that when people have strong muscle memory about not being able to do something, um, it doesn't go away by itself. Like if you sing an aria with a high note and you never hit that high note, well, you'll sing through the aria and not hit that high note every single time for the rest of your life, unless you go at it a different way. I'd like to compare this to the muscle memory in my lower back when I started doing Pilates. I had lower back problems for many, many years that my back would just suddenly go into spasm and I'd be at the chiropractor's office again. So when I started Pilates, um, the, one of the main things is flexibility of the spine. That's what Joseph Pilates called the measure of youth, flexibility of your spine. And I would do things, exercises, and it would be go down slowly, 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 one vertebra at a time, one vertebra at a time, and I go one vertebra at a time, one vertebra at a time, one vertebra at a time, splat four vertebrae at a time. One vertebra, one vertebra, splat four at a time. And in classes, in group classes, there was not a possibility for me to work that out because I'd be keeping up. It had one, 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 splat. Okay, one, 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 splat. And it never got better. But with private sessions with teachers who knew what they were doing, my back was slowly coaxed into releasing that tension that kept those four vertebrae going at the same time. Go up to it, work up to it, work up to it. Take a breath, let the breath out. Slowly, slowly, slowly let the body relax. And it's the same in singing. If you've got notes that you just consistently can't sing, it's not only that the muscles remember that tension, there's an emotional component too. It's like, oh my God, I can't do this. And it clicks on without your being in control of it. So it's the same kind of thing. You work it out slowly. You take what is working and slowly inch it up, inch it up, inch it up, inch it up, inch it up. And then you slowly inch it up, inch it up, inch it up until you get the body to a spot, the vocal cords, for example, to a spot where they can easily say, yes, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. Well, maybe I can do this. Okay. And then you've done it once. And that starts to build a new path. And the old path starts to lose its hold on you because until then, that old path had you. There was no escaping from it. There was no way to get out of that tension. And that's what I like to work on with my students is it's empowering to be able to do something you, you could never do before. What if you sing a whole aria gorgeously and then you've got that last note that doesn't work and you know it doesn't work and your muscles know it doesn't work. What if there were a way to work through that? Gently, 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 every day a little bit more until the old path has to fall away. It just has to fall away because you're not using it anymore. You don't let it engage. So that's my take on muscle memory, how it can work against you and how you can get it to work for you.